it's a pleasure to be here today um, and it's a very important day when uh, TDU is uh, launching its uh, undergraduate teaching program with its first batch of students. And uh, I thought I would comment a little bit on what transdisciplinary research uh, actually means. So there is no question that uh, training in a discipline will continue to be the core of any type of training uh, of be it undergraduates or postgraduate students or in a PhD because you have to be rooted in a discipline. So then people ask what does this transdisciplinary mean and I thought about it a little while and I can explain it with an analogy. So imagine you're a musician. Um, any musician can only express himself or herself through an instrument be it the voice or a veena or a tabla or a guitar or a piano and you can think of that instrument as the discipline okay it is the core tool and the set of skills by which you express yourself but if a musician is only trained to use an instrument but doesn't understand what music means then they will be a bad musician and that's what transdisciplinary means it means you have to go beyond your instrument and you have to have a global outlook about what the entire process of making music is so by the same token if students are being trained at transdisciplinary uni university and be it health sciences or botany or even social sciences and humanities, they will be given a training in a core discipline. But by the very name and outlook of the university, they'll be trained to have a broader perspective on the world. And I think this is the kind of student that we need today who can take what they've got from one discipline and then go out into the world and figure out how to apply it by making connections with many others. So that's what I feel this philosophy of transdisciplinary means. Um, secondly, let me say a little bit more about research. So there is, of course, undergraduate training, which has to be more focused. And then there's postgraduate training, MSCs, and then there's doing PhDs. PhDs have always been multidisciplinary and transdisciplinary. It would be a very poor PhD which makes you focus down into one area because you will not be able to extract new knowledge. The most interesting and relevant PhDs come from cross-pollination. Now in this context, I should mention that uh, the National Center for Biological Sciences and uh, INSTEM both have had uh, long-standing uh, relationships with TDU ever since it started. And among other things, um, there are students who are co-registered at these two places. They're doing research in areas that are relevant to not just TDU's mandate, but FRLHC's mandate. So how does this fit in with, uh, for example, research at NCBS? So NCBS does research in all areas of biology. And among those areas, just as an example, the identification of the mode of action of medicinal plants is absolutely core to a sort of modern biology type of type of research. Um, it's not even uh, any type of disconnect. It's a very, uh, it's a very natural connection. Now what TDU brings to that uh, mix is a sense that the science by being inspired by what is local, what is around you will actually be better. You will actually be able to find new knowledge better rather than you know looking at some problem that comes to you from somewhere else in the world by looking around you locally and saying what are the problems that you know maybe they can be relevant, useful, but they can also be simply inspired by the botany and the zoology and the life that's around you. And in the life sciences I think that's very important. You have to be inspired by what is around you. And over the course of time I think this idea that TDU brings where you meld history, uh, looking at uh, you know, what has been documented through traditional medicine, looking at what has been documented through local practitioners and combining it with the very best of biology, bench biology and field biology, we are going to discover something new. There's no question about it and I think it's going to be a very good partnership and I hope more students become aware that this is something that they can uh, work on.